Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and I've got an awesome blacksmithing project here for you today. I'm going ice fishing up in Alaska and I need an ice fishing chisel to cut a hole in the ice. So I've got a design up in my head, a little something special that you might not have seen before and we are going to make it right here on the forge. But not only that, I'm going to bring you guys along with me up to Alaska and we're going to see how it works. Go gather some yeah. sticks and help me start the forge. Yeah, go get some sticks. I need to make the neck a little bit thinner. Well, I've got the sharp end of the ice chisel done. Now I'm gonna make the back end and I've got a piece of plain old weldable bar stock here. Well, I'm done with the forging part and you can see what I've done is I've forged a chisel side and a scoop side that'll both go on opposite ends of a pole. 
and this will be used to chisel the hole and then scoop the snow out with the other end. And I've dipped both parts in peanut oil and put them on the forge and let that peanut oil bake off so that it gets covered in kind of a residue that'll make it a little bit more waterproof. Think of it as kind of like seasoning cast iron, same sort of principle. All right, now we're gonna sharpen our chisel on my very crowded workbench here. Right, now I gotta pack these things up, take them to Alaska, because we're gonna do some ice fishing. All right, here I am in Anchorage, Alaska, at my father's workshop, and I've got both ends of my ice fishing chisel, and I've got a broom handle here. chisel on one end and a scoop on the other so you can cut your hole and scoop it out without bending over. I think we need to take this thing ice fishing. So you don't, uh... Now one thing is, is ever, you, you try to make a circular hole because that's what we used to, but a square hole is more effective with the chisel. <laughs> your little wussy ones here, and go. I see how this is going. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, these... Welcome, man. We have to start. Oh, he didn't catch that camera. What do you think of the chisel? It's, it's the best one I've ever used. That went through that in a couple minutes. Well, eight sharp. inches ice, yeah. Very, Very sharp, sharp. And I like light. the chisel edge. The scoop's nice. Worked out well. Yeah, there you go. This is the last thing, remember that? that oh, there we go. Hey, hey! Oh, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any reason in keeping it, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. Do you want me to, there we go. Did <laughs> it make a weird noise or is it? Are you bouncing oh. on the bomb now? Whoa, there another one. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, it's a different one. Different. Yeah. Definitely. There we go. Oh, that's not there you go. Well, guys, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out, man. Cuts through the ice like butter. And uh, having the scoop on the end so you don't have to bend over to get the chunks and shavings out of the hole it's pretty awesome i like it it's light it's sharp works pretty good if you guys like this sort of thing i've got an entire playlist of all my blacksmithing and foraging videos so i'll put a link in the description of that and don't forget to click subscribe to the outdoor boys youtube channel we put out new videos every saturday morning see you then if you like this video don't forget to check out the outdoor boys youtube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.